Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Pocono Motor Speedway for the Pocono 225 in the Xfinity Series. The four. Okay, the fourth race of our um Xfinity Series, and there's only one race after this until we finally have Cup Series back. Anyway, anyways. Let's just get right into our starting lineup of the day. In row one, to start out our field is Noah Gragson and points leader, Riley Herbst. In row two is uh, Johnny Sauter and Matt Mills. In row three is Ty Gibbs and Alex LeBay. Row four is the 39 of Todd Gilliland and the 61 of David Starr. And in row 10 is Brandon Brown, winner of two races ago, and the six of... Sorry, the six of John Hunter name it check. Anyways, the drivers are gonna get are getting ready to go green for fifteen laps. And the stages for this race it is a fifteen lap race, as I said, are five or no. They're five, five, and five. And the weather at Pocono, um, is pretty good. We do have a 2% chance of rain, and, uh, well, actually, wait, one second, uh, I need to get to day. Yeah, we we have a 1% chance of rain, but it's a chilly morning, it's 37 degrees out, that is very freezing, free, cold, it's almost freezing, so these drivers in these hot cars will definitely get some heat in their bodies after a freezing morning. Anyways. Let's get going green for five laps, and we will pit halfway through stage two. Green flag is out here at Pocono as not a great start for the guys in the back, but whatever, Noah Gragson leads us down. Ooh, to the inside. Two drivers, they're going to make some runs. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of lag, which is really... As you can, we're going to use first person for this. As you can see, the 47 of Kyle Weatherman trying to use that apron. We've seen that in the Cup Series to, a few seasons ago. It's a flyby up the field. There's the back of the pack, Danny Bone and Samuel Hammond. With Noah Gragson going to bring us down to lap two. He almost won last week at Bristol. As I did not mean to go down pit lane. But Noah Gragson is, in fact... Your leader, bringing us to lap two. Nobody making really any moves. Actually, Noah Gragson's teammate of Haley Deegan to the inside. Coming around for lap three. And stage points are just going to be halved. Like the clash in duels. So it's 15 for, or it'll be 10. So 10 for first, and we'll go from there to save time. As here they go oh, to the inside, the eight of um, Josh Berry, as I keep hitting the pits. The eight of Josh Berry, the three, three junior motorsports teammates in the lead, but Haley Deegan in the lead uh, for the first time in her Xfinity career. As it's lap three, you can see the 78 of... Um, Jesse Little actually coming up the inside and coming on to one and two or coming on to three. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a good run for Johnny Sauter and Jesse Little. As the 18 of Matt Benedetto falling back coming to lap 14. But it's okay because he could recover. Coming to lap four, I mean, of stage one. This race is only heating up as here comes Jesse Little. And actually, will Harrison Burton, or will, not Harrison Burton, will Johnny Sauter take the lead? Yes, Johnny Sauter will lead for his first time in his Xfinity Series career. This amazing start to the race coming to the white flag for the stage. A green-white checkered as... On turn three, you can see the 07 of Zane Smith making some moves as Josh Berry falls out of the top five. 
were brought to the white flag of stage one as Johnny Sauter will lead it. But will he win? Zane Smith and Brandon Brown making moves up the insides of previous leaders, Haley Deegan and Jesse Little. These two have to make a quick charge if they want to win the stage. You can see Zane Smith is passing Brandon Brown, but I don't think it'll be enough to catch the 20 of Johnny Sauter. Actually, I maybe have may have been misspoke may have misspoke. I may have spoken too soon. As here they come. Whoa, the 07 of Zane Smith by inches will win stage one unless it was not. We will have to go back. I'll see you guys back when we're ready for stage two. The stage the stage caution is out there all back to the box. As we did have some changes under caution, it was not pits, it was just racing back. As we're getting ready to go green again for five more laps at Pocono. As Haley Dingan and Brandon Brown, your top two for this restart, are going to lead you down. Green flag is out for the, for the second stage here at Pocono. This early start, a lot of people make jumps. But nobody's going to make a jump to get around Haley Deegan. But that outside line with some of our people who finished up front, especially the 07, just completely fell back. That's what happens here at Pocono. Off these starts, as you can see, Jesse Little behind Haley Deegan. Jesse Little wants to win, but Haley Deegan also wants to win. Two, two people who are underdogs. Haley Deegan actually um, a rookie this year and in the Cup Series only because of her dominance in the truck series. As they come to lap two of stage one, you can see a little bit of contact there with Riley Herbst as it's lap two of stage two. Crazy fin crazy racing. So, oh, the two of Matt Snyder just slid. And luckily on that inside, you don't really lose much. But, man, and Haley Deegan pulling away here on lap two, coming into turns two. Matt Snyder up the inside. So you can see the 16. This is actually getting pretty good. Haley Deegan could win something. As there goes the field in last is actually winner of stage one, Zane Smith. As it's lap three of stage two. They're three wide for second, but man. I am surprised nobody is catching Haley Deegan, but Austin Hill is on that inside line. That might catch him. And it is lap three, so there are still three laps in this stage for the money. Um, Haley Deegan going down into lap four. The 16 kind of gets loose and goes up. The 17 of Cody Ware. <laughs> As you can see, the 07 coming back on that inside, recovering from his mistake at the start. As they're coming to the white flag of stage two, Haley Dean has led every lap of stage two. And that means Haley Dean brings us to the white flag. But someone could catch her like they did with Johnny Sauter. Though I do doubt it. As here comes is that Mason Massey? Yep. A pretty decent lead for Haley Deegan today. In in the final lap of this stage. As here she comes. 
off turn three and with no competition at all today in this stage Haley Deegan will win stage two with Mason Massey in tow now we're gonna go under a little bit of a longer break before we go into the final five laps Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to finish our final five laps of this race. As Austin Hill and Haley Deacon will lead us down. Green flag is back. Ooh, back of the pack splits up a little. Who is going to take it? Who's going to go high? Who's going to low low? Austin Hill goes low and Haley Deacon falls back. Jeremy Clements, here he comes. Can he get around? Austin Hill. So far, it does not look like it. As here comes Josh Williams, who almost won Richmond. Oh, he rides that apron a little bit to push himself under points leader, Riley Herps. As here comes Austin Hill, and... Jeremy Clements leading us to lap two. Ooh, who is all the way back there? That is the 90. Jeremy Clements takes the lead, but here comes Josh Williams. I wonder who will win. Josh Williams on turn two. And here he comes on the inside. To the lead, Josh Williams here at Pocono. Coming to lap three, it's Josh Williams. The 90 caught back up. Noah Gragson actually down in laps. Not great for his points. He is fourth, but still. I was actually, here comes Jeffrey Earnhardt up the inside of Matt Benedetto who recovered. And as you know, he is leaving Xfinity next year. Only a one-year thing. He finally got back in Cup. Exciting news for him. Zero of Jeffrey Earnhardt. Up the inside of the 98 of Riley Herps. Josh Williams could win today at Pocono. Coming to lap number four. Who to go here in Pocono? As coming down, it's going to be Jeffrey Earnhardt to the... Oh, does he pass Jeremy Clements? No. Will he finish the pass coming on to two? Yes, he does. He goes up the inside. Will he cast Josh Williams and win? <laughs> As he's up the inside, always oh, coming towards the 92 of Josh Williams. As the white flag is out, Jeffrey Earnhardt to the inside. Without a single win in the Xfinity Series IRL and in my series, he takes the lead of Pocono. Jeffrey Earnhardt with no one to challenge him on turn two, I think has just locked himself a win at Pocono. But if he makes a mistake, he could fall to the outside. As it's over for everyone else. Jeffrey Earnhardt. Who it, Jeffrey Earnhardt from Morrisville, North Carolina, will win as two junior motorsports teammates who were up front are now down in last. Amazing for Jeffrey Earnhardt, as you can see some guys making late caution lap moves. As the race is now over, Jeffrey Earnhardt, your winner.